autism with the Shepherd family here today. Hey Brian, good morning. Good morning. Brian's eating his breakfast, getting ready for school. Then we're gonna fix our bird nest, huh? Our bird nest looks a little bit, uh, a little messy here, but we're getting ready so that way we can be all set to go for the bus. Now my kitchen, on the other hand, is destroyed so it's a clean up day today so we'll see what kind of um, miracles I can work in this kitchen and uh, I'll do a before and after picture just so you guys can see the drastic change in kitchen so Last night was really, 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 really cold when I went outside to let Lola out to go potty. And so I told my husband, bring me a sheet that I had in the backyard because I'm like, my plants are going to freeze if it's as cold as it was the other, the other day. Because the other day, our heater didn't even turn on. That's how cold it got for us here in Arizona, that the heater didn't even work. Like, it took until later for it to, like, unfreeze, I guess, for it to work. But... Show you guys. It's so crazy. Look at this. So I covered them, right? They're covered. Covered, 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 covered. But check this out. That thing is frozen. Like, it is like a crisp sheet. It was not a crisp sheet when I put it out there, let me tell you. It was just a regular sheet and it is frozen. Like, if I needed to stand it up, it would stand. That's how cold it got last night. So I'm very glad that I covered my plants because one of my plants yesterday morning was all wiltered and, or withered, I'm sorry, wiltered. It was all withered and, like, the leaves were frozen and those leaves are gone. I can't. There's nothing I can do about those leaves. Now those leaves are gone. So, at least my plant didn't die. But, Brian's finishing up so he can take the bus to school. So, we will talk to you guys later. A few moments later. So, Brian's at school now. So, today, it's just going to be me and these two girls until it's their pediatrician appointment. So we got little Chloe right there. We have Natalie over there. They're watching some B movie. So now it's time to get them some breakfast going that way. We can get uh, get that out of the way. But I don't know what to make them for breakfast. And I feel sick. I feel like barfing. No, I am not pregnant. That is never happening again. I have my three kids and I am set. So, get back to you. So, it is 11.32. The girls' pediatrician appointment is at noon, 12. So, Chloe's taking a nap. So, that's going to be the first down is that she's sleeping. So, I'm going to have to wake her up just to get to the place. So, Anxiety, anxiety, everything will be good, everything will be good. Natalie's doing good, she's happy, she's good, she's got her toys, I got everything packed. We just gotta wait Chloe. This is gonna be bad. So we're in the car. Everybody's uh, strapped in. We're ready to go. As you can see, Chloe's Chloe's already upset. So again, staying positive. But we'll see you guys when we get to the doctors.
<laughs> Molly's having blueberries. Chloe's eating a cookie. I ate mine. Molly's getting one shot, so see how that goes. She doesn't know yet, but she'll soon know. But I'll have help so they can cry all they want. <laughs> no, not really. They can't. Chill, chill moments. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, hey guys, so Dr. Appointment went well. Brian is here now. Lola knows he's here. You going to get him? Who's here? Hi, Lola. Hi. Going <laughs> home. So yesterday, I forgot to end the vlog. Um, I totally forgot, honestly. Um, but it was a good day. The visit went well. Natalie got her one shot. We also got a new referral for her to get um, because she has a pronated ankle. So we got a referral for her to go see a foot doctor, which she's seen before. But instead of getting a shoe that's got... Um, the implant already built into it, and I'll put a picture just so you guys can see what kind of shoe that is. Those shoes she outgrew already. Like, it literally took like two months for her to outgrow. So we're trying to see if we can't get SMOs. Post a picture of those two so you guys know what that is. Um, but that way, we can have those last longer and then those can actually go into any shoe so that's what's freaking awesome with it is that it can go into any shoe so we don't have to worry about her outgrowing them so quickly it just goes in the shoe any shoe and we're on our way so hopefully she starts walking soon um i also talked to the pediatrician about chloe's delay in walking because she said she should be walking by now which she's barely crawling which I'm so proud of her. She is officially crawling, guys. I've got two moving children. Uh, well, three, but Brian is nine. So, but got Chloe, who's one, and Natalie, who's two, who are neither walking. Chloe, who is a year and almost two months, is barely crawling. Where Natalie is two, and she's walking along the furniture and stuff, but she's not letting go. So the last time the therapist was here, it was pretty cool because she brought her a little uh, little pediatric walker. So I put little flowers on them to make it fun for her, but she really doesn't like to use it that much. She'll use it and then she'll just leave it and start crawling and going on her way. So I just hope that I have... Natalie walking soon. There's that famous horn that I always have. Whatever, I'm done trying to fix it. But I'll let you guys go because I have a dirty baby to clean up. It's dirty. We had spaghetti, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to get her to eat with the spoon, but it's not working out well. I give her food in a bowl and a spoon, and as you can see, things end up on the ground. She just ends up just getting it all over the place and then eats that way so hey whatever gets her to eat but we're practicing eating with a spoon because she needs to start using her utensils rather than flinging them and playing with them so anyways i'll let you guys go because we're getting fussy we want to be clean are we all done all done we're also trying to teach some sign language so Definitely got my plate full, but I want to thank everybody who is following and watching. Thank you so much for following our journey, and hopefully we get to together experience my baby's walk soon. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and like Brian has said, don't forget that notification bell button. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!